Christ. Yes, God is calling us to continually grow and not stay stagnant. Even when we feel like we don't know what life seems to be moving at a snail's pace or not at all. And then we find ourselves getting discouraged. Well, do not any longer because praise God, as I said previously, the Lord was challenging me to pray and extend my prayer time and it has been extraordinary. I am telling you, I implore you to even attempt to try it longer than 15 minutes. Try 30 and then extend another 15 and go for an hour and you will see your life change right before your eyes. When you pray in the Holy Spirit, in the unknown tongue, coupled with the Holy Spirit, who is given to us by Jesus as a comforter, as a counselor, as a guide, as a teacher. So when we pray in our normal language, we are just speaking out of our head and out of our heart. But when we pray with the Holy Spirit in the unknown tongue, we're praying things that we didn't even realize we needed or things that needed to be tended to. So that weapon is so powerful that when we pray in the unknown tongue of the Holy Spirit, our lives go to a whole new level. Our personality, who we are, our life blossoms and is such treasures that the Lord reveals to us that we're so rich, not financially only, we're rich in love, we're rich in friendships, we're rich in relationships, we're rich in our health, we're rich in our laughter, we're rich in our time and our talents. Oh my gosh, there's so many areas that when we pray in the Holy Spirit, the Lord opens and reveals to us our blessings. And our blessings come in so many components. But first, I want to share some scriptures with you. So this is Proverbs uh, 20, verse 5. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. And that one is when we pray in the Holy Spirit and we pray to Jesus and then Jesus conveys it to the Father and our prayers and petitions are answered. Our needs are met. Our situations become resolved and vindication is shown through different scenarios. I mean, it's just so many things that can unlock that have been stagnant, that we have been attempting in ourselves that we couldn't do on our own. And here's another scripture, Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purposes that prevail. So God wants the very best for us. We may feel like, Lord, well, I know what's best for me. I know what I want. And God honors that. But God also wants to intervene and intertwine in our desires and our petitions what he really knows what is best for us. Because God only wants the best for us. He wants us to have success. He wants us to have love. He wants us to be stable and have constant provision. He doesn't want us ever in lack. He wants us healed. He wants us whole. He loves laughter. He loves um, camaraderie and friendships and fellowships and he loves community. So why do we feel that we have to let the world standard intervene into our lives, hinder us, make us feel frustrated, make us feel like we are lacking and that we can't ever catch up, that we can't ever measure up? That's not God's plan. God wants us to have contentment. God wants to have us full of life in all areas and it's not to be measured by someone else. God wants us to have our special own treasures and that I have found is opening up to me 
the longer I am praying in the Holy Spirit. Don't give up on fasting. I still believe in fasting. I still see the results when we fast. But when you're praying in the Holy Spirit, when you're reading God's word for yourself, revelation opens up, treasures open up, your heart is changed. You have a greater patience. You have a greater vision of what God sees. It's no longer through the lens of propaganda. It's no longer through the lens of social media. It's through the lens of God, which is love. And how God honors our hearts when we walk in faith and we walk in love. And then he wants to open up the blessings and treasures for our lives. So we're not struggling. We're not begging for bread. We're not frustrated. We're not feeling lonely and defeated. God wants us to have a full, whole life. And he wants us to have it now. And it can happen. But couple with that praying and the Holy Spirit, it is powerful. And when you're doing that, you're going to see that multiple things are happening. Not just, okay, I'm focusing on this one area in prayer. When you're praying in the Holy Spirit, the Lord is touching every single area in our lives. He's going to bring us greater wisdom. He's going to give us foreknowledge. Let us know things before they happen. Give us greater direction. We're going to grow and blossom the longer we stay in connection with the Lord. And that help is through the Holy Spirit. So take that leap of faith. Enjoy your time and your fellowship with the Lord. And you're going to see your life expand and blossom without effort, without even trying. And you no longer have to fear someone sabotaging your blessings or hindering your blessings. No, God's going to give you so much peace and so many other blessings. So enjoy this time. Work on it. Do it. Carve out the time. Get up earlier. Spend some private, quiet time with the Lord, and you're going to see the fruits of it blossom.